Um, this is going to be the live unboxing of the Durafly Excalibur V2. Uh, we uh, just uh, have you guys hang on for just a second. I'm just about to get started here. <clears throat> hey everyone. And uh, let me know if uh, my audio sounds okay, if you, don't, you guys don't mind. Actually, I could check it right here. Yes, it's working just fine. So I just want to make sure that my camera looks good and everything before I get started. So all right. Bear with me, guys, here. Okay. Okay, guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Once again, it's, it's uh, 7 Devil 7, Jeff Yang. Uh, I know um, years ago I said, hey, you know, the channel's gonna just gonna be known as Jeff Yang, but in all my video uh, descriptions, you still are able to find myself on YouTube as 7demo7 because I put that in the keyword. So in case you don't remember my name, you can always uh, just put in 7demo7, which is what my channel was known for uh, in the past. So um, let me just take a quick peek here. All right, so um, why, am I, uh, why am I coming to you guys live here? So uh, it's actually March 8th is my 50th birthday. So um, of course I had to celebrate by buying an airplane. And of course, as you guys know, the Durafly uh, Excalibur V2 just came online, and I've seen a lot, uh, actually there's a bunch of videos that came up about it. I decided not to watch any of them, so the Petrinchik Brothers, uh, Essential RC, I'll watch those videos maybe on the way up to Vegas, because uh, for my birthday, we're heading up to Vegas. Um, I'm actually gonna go to a live poker room. I, I really love um, uh, Texas Hold'em, and I actually just talked to one of the uh, club members uh, for, Cir not Circle City, but, um, what is it, uh, the Sunday Funday Flyers group, and I was talking to them about possibly getting a poker game going with um, the guys in the group, which would be super fun. Um, I'm really into to Texas Hold'em. I love the game. I love the, the every aspect about it, and I'm actually learning some GTO strategies, which is called Game Theory Optimized. So I'm actually gonna go to Vegas with my wife and my kids. We're gonna spend uh, three days there and come back for my birthday. My actual birthday is on Tuesday, the March 8th, so. I'm going to uh, enjoy my weekend in Vegas, and um, hopefully I can come home with a little bit more money than I, I got there with. And, and luckily, as you guys know, with the Texas Hold'em, it's your chances are much better of actually uh, earning some money than you know just pulling a handle or on the roulette wheel, right? So let me go ahead and unbox here as, as I'm talking to you guys. So. Um, Actually, I ordered this on Monday or Tuesday, I want to say, and here it is Thursday that it came. So luckily, it only has to come from Oregon uh, to here, and I really feel bad for you guys um, in other countries that are having problems with the, the, the EU warehouse and whatnot. So um, sorry, I can't speak for, for that warehouse, but I got this in two days, which I was not expecting. So of course, there's all the supply chain issues and everything. So. Hopefully when they uh, produce things like this, they actually you know, get enough of them in one shipment that they can uh, make everyone happy. So let me just flip this guy over here. It's a very small box actually. Uh, and to let you guys know, um, I've actually seen, uh, back when the ver version one came out, I was up at Kite Hill and there was a guy there who was traveling across the country. And he said, oh, are you 7 demo 7 I'm like, yeah. So he was actually flying the uh, version one up at Kite Hill, and it looked like it flew really, really well. And one thing he wanted, he pointed out to me was the um, was the the wing EPO density. Uh, it was very, very dense foam, which is pretty cool. So let me try and get this out of here. <clears throat> so there we have it. Nice, simple box here. Let me go ahead and uh, get the box open here with all the tape pieces. Okay. 
Nicely packed, um, as usual, from Hobby King. Okay, so uh, this is something that they are um, including with most of their, their current builds here, which is just a one sheet, um, a quick setup guide, which gives you your CG, the throws on the elevators and, and V-tail here, uh, and just a few other, like the, all the specifications of of the uh, airplane. So like I was saying guys, I, I saw this fly up at Kite Hill. Flew amazing. Um, really, really uh, cool airplane. It's basically a hotliner, super fast and motor glider. Now there's something about this motor glider that I really like, which is it's a glider, which was the first thing that got me into RC. It's um, fast and it's also a V-tail. I love V-tails. I don't know what it is about V-tails. It's something about that rudder action that really um, speaks to me. So. Uh, here are the two spars here. Let me go ahead and just pull out the fuselage. Might as well get right to the belly of the beast here. Okay, here's the metal spinner and a bunch all your hardware. Um, okay. Ooh, that is heavy in the front. So, I will tell you from the information sheet that the motor is a 3542... Um, size motor, a KV is 800 KV, uh, and this takes 4S, so looking really, really nice. So let's see, what is going on with this uh, hatch here? Looks like you turn it to the side to get it out. Oh, that's really interesting. Take a look, guys, there's this little fin here that goes aerodynamic when you uh, have it locked, and then sideways like this to get it open. Look at that. It's kind of nice that there's no magnets in there, and it's actually a little T-joint there that, that keys into the fuselage, so. Let's take a look at how easy this is to put in. Yeah, that's 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 pretty cool. So, uh, I like the new color scheme. It's, it's different. It's, it's pretty nice. Um, I watched one review of this um, airplane, and the guy was saying to roughen up the the metal of the shaft here so that the the uh, spinner actually has something to grab onto. So uh, here we have the plug-in wings. Uh, it's just uh, you put basically plug and play. There's no connections to make. There's all the internal connections to make to, to connect inside to your receiver. And then all of your uh, receiver, um, their server leads are all out here, which is uh, gonna be pretty cool. Uh, battery goes in there. And also here is, uh, is the tail section that you just lay the VTL into and um, connect all your connections. Looks like we have a carbon spar that goes all the way to the back of the airplane. So I don't know how far that goes through, but um, the foam quality is looking pretty good. Let me go ahead and take everything out here. Okay, yeah. Yeah, the, the foam density of the uh, of the Excalibur wing is, is quite nice. Really, really nice. Um, looks like you still need to put in your, um, your control surfaces here. Once again, there's this nice, uh, it's like a three-way connector here that, that it's, I've never seen this in an airplane before, so that looks pretty good. So, uh, what I, from what I understand, um, the carbon, it's so supposed to be uh, a better carbon fiber um, spar system in this airplane, so. Here's our elevons here. Elevons, um, our V-tail situation here. That looks pretty cool. There's actually two full servos in the back here. You can see it's gonna to go together just like that. That looks pretty awesome. Okay, so let's get this big piece of foam out of the way here. Let's take a look at what we have in here. So. I feel, I'm feeling this uh, little floppy plastic nose cone here. This looks like it just goes over the front of the airplane. So in case you're slope soaring it, it'll maybe protect the, the metal spinner or you take the metal spinner out, I don't know. But uh, there's that. It's kind of, like I said, kind of like a floppy Lexan or polycarbonate or something like that. Here is the uh, spinner. Really nice CNC metal spinner that we have going on here. There is our spinner, our foldable prop, I should say. This is not actually the spinner. 
but that looks like a really nice piece of, uh, of hardware here. And the prop is a 13 by eight, so that should grab the air quite nicely. We have our tail joiner right here with the top of the servos pop up through right here. I could probably dry fit that while we're here on air. And let's take a look at the last bag here. If you guys have any questions at all, let me know. If you guys hate, hate my sim racing, let me know. <laughs> okay guys, these are all just the, uh, the clevises, the control horn surfaces, really easy stuff there. Easy stuff, yeah. And here's the metal nose cone, which is nice and heavy. Nose cone slash spinner. And here we go. So it has a little collette back here. So from what I understand, you take off the, the bolt here, uh, you tighten down the collette onto the motor shaft. Like, it, like I was saying, the other guy was saying that make sure you roughen up uh, the motor shaft with some sandpaper. It just gives you a little bit more uh, grip for that collette to, to um, grip onto. But yeah, this, the spinner looks really awesome. So uh, very well machined and it looks great. Okay, so let's just do a quick dry fit, uh, number one of the tail here, and let me bring you guys over. All right, let's take a quick peek here. You can see that the servo fits right into this little cutout, so there's really no way you can get this wrong. Let's just see if I can just dry fit this into the back of the airplane here. Then we'll uh, put the wings on. Okay guys, so it's gonna look a little bit like that. I think I have some of the cables in the way here, so uh, it's probably not gonna snap down the way I want. Let me see if I can just connect those really quickly here. Let me just take a quick peek here. See if I can scooch these ends kind of down into the fuselage here. There we go. Okay, that looks pretty awesome. There we go. Okay, so real easy to, to put together. I'll put this fully together in just a few minutes, but uh, once I get time to put it together, hopefully I can fly this on Sunday, it would be really nice. So let's uh, go ahead and put the, let's 
go ahead and put the spars in. So I'm guessing that the long spar goes in the front. doesn't want to go through. There we go. Oh, of course. Okay, I'm gonna unplug the, the tail guy. So now that we've seen what the tail looks like. Okay, got both spars through. Let's go ahead and put the wings on here. And once again, really uh, nice connections here for the, uh, the wings here. You just seat the wing and that is it. Ooh, nice tight fit, nice tight fit. Okay, that looks really awesome. <laughs> so there it is, um, the, the Durafly Excalibur V2. Really, really nicely made. Um, I, I should have mentioned earlier that I've always wanted this airplane. I was always a little bit too expensive at $180 uh, for the version one. Uh, then this one came out and now this one's the $220 and I understand the extra expense because of, you know, uh, global pandemic, you know, supply chain issues, all that kind of stuff. So it looks like it's going to be a super easy build here. I got 95% of it built uh, on camera without any instructions. I actually didn't look at, look at the instructions at all, but uh, really um, nicely put together airplane. I really appreciate well-made airplanes. And this one looks like it's going to be no exception from Hobby King. So all right, um, so that's basically about it. If you guys have any questions about it, anything you want me to measure or anything like that, I, whatever. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna leave this here. Uh, actually, I'm gonna take this home. I have a receiver for it, uh, ready to go, and, um, and also a satellite receiver, so maybe I can get this together on, before Sunday morning and get this out and fly over at uh, Circle City. So um, that is it, you guys. I'm gonna just uh, take a look here. Oops. Uh, Sam says, uh, no crashing in this one. You're not allowed, I know. <laughs> oh, uh, Lionel Castillo, he, he was um, commenting on my uh, live stream on um, PS4 and ACC earlier in my live stream. So, okay, yeah, so guys, um, what makes this, this glider really um, unique is that it's basically a swept forward design. It's a little bit like my uh, mini drac over there on the wall. Um, it's got basically the from here to here is basically the angle swept forward and I guess that does a few things. I guess instead of the wingtip stalling it'll stall towards the center which actually in an airplane like this doesn't really matter. So um, it tends to reduce the stall tendencies of, um, of any wing that has this type of design because all the airfoil, I guess because this is angled in, the air kind of comes towards the center of the wing, whereas if it was back swept, it kind of goes out into the ends of the tips, which is why the wing tip can, can stall, stall. So um, yeah, it looks like it's really well put together. It's got a, a nice solid nose cone piece here, really, really solid. Um, but yeah, it's, it's basically going to take a 4S2200. And I guess they call it the Excalibur because it kind of looks like a sword as you're holding it here. So it's kind of funny. <laughs> All right. So with that, guys, uh, thanks to Hobby King for uh, relaunching this airplane. I really can't wait to get this thing in the, in the uh, air. Here's the bottom side. A little cooling port for the ESC here. The ESC is right underneath the battery, which kind of worries me a little bit. 
but it looks like there's a little mouth here which takes some air in and looks like it's going to exit out through here there's some little uh vent holes here on the side as well uh, but here's the underside of the wing um from what i understand they went to all metal uh, digital servos uh so that i'll look forward to that anyway um guys i'm gonna sign off here and i'm gonna get this uh together probably right now and toss it in the car and head home get ready to go to vegas so anyway guys thanks so much for your uh for watching and i will talk to you guys pretty soon after i get back from vegas i i might actually do a little bit of vlogging in vegas to see uh how things go um there's a lot of new vloggers out there that vlog from casinos and they actually uh record they stick their phone on the the rail and it's butted up against the rail and so they can, you, can, you can actually show what your cards are to the camera um and you can actually commentate and um and check out the the hands that you go through which would be kind of fun to do i i may i may try to do that i actually watched a video um from a guy who vlogs uh at aria and uh they were saying that this new uh wave of vloggers has changed the videotaping rules in casinos especially in in texas hold'em rooms because um there's they have so many followers they have a ton of guys coming in saying hey i saw brad owen or whoever that you know and uh, now i'm here because of him so you know it makes the uh it gives more uh clout to the uh to the casinos which is pretty cool so anyway guys uh wish me luck this weekend it's my 50th birthday i'm super stoked and um can't wait to get this thing out up in the air and thanks to hobby king and thanks to you guys for watching i really appreciate it see ya Bye.